Okay, in the uh, first video in this section, I derived uh, some formulas by drawing right triangles and using trig definitions. Here are two that are going to apply for these types of problems. I'm gonna, I want to change the, the polar coordinates into rectangular coordinates. That means that my original r and theta, because polar coordinates are always written as r and theta, I want to change it over into an x and a y. These formulas will allow me to do so. It allows me to take the given r and theta, put it in there, whatever that is, that's going to automatically give me the x and the y coordinate, and I'll just write them as a coordinate uh, uh, at the end. So for this one, I want to change it over into an x and a y. So the first thing I'm going to do, if I want to change the x, I'm going to use this formula, x is equal to r cosine theta. The r is 5, and my theta is pi over 3. So I'd like to, I want to work this out. Uh, so I have 5 and then cosine pi over 3, that's so cosine 60. So from my table, that's going to give me 1 half. So I get uh, 5 halves is the answer for the x coordinate. I'm going to do the same thing for the y coordinate. I'm going to do 5. This time I'm going to do sine theta. That's the formula I'm using this time. 5 is my r. My theta is pi over 3. And so when I put that in here, it's going to be square root of 3 over 2. That's the value from my table. So when I multiply that, that's 5 root 3 over 2. When I write my answer, I need to write it as a coordinate. So that's going to be written out this way. 5 square root of 3 over, two, or I start with 5 halves. So 5 halves first. X value needs to come first. And then 5 square root of 3 over 2. So that's my uh, rectangular coordinate. X value comes first and the Y value comes second. It's always written as X comma Y. Now let's do part B. Same thing, we're gonna use the same two formulas. X is equal to negative three. If the R is negative, it's okay. You can still use the same formula. Negative three cosine, negative pi over four. And then I have Y equals negative three sine, negative pi over four. Then there's two ways that you can handle the negative angle. What you could do is you could do one of those even odd properties that says that cosine of negative theta is equal to cosine of a positive angle. And this one, a negative sign is going to come out. Or the other way of looking at it is if we just use the unit circle directly, I see here that negative pi over 4 would be down there in the fourth quadrant. And so therefore, I know that the cosine would have to be positive because the, uh, if I go negative pi over 4, it's going to have the same x value as positive uh, pi over 4. So knowing that, that means that cosine negative pi over 4 has the same value as cosine positive pi over 4. That value from the table is square root of 2 over 2. So that's, it could be that value, not much more we could do uh, for that. Now this one, we have negative 3, and I have sine negative pi over 4. Now this is also going to have the same value as sine positive pi over 4, but because you're in the fourth quadrant, that means that that value is going to have to be negative. So now I have negative root 2 over 2 on there. When I write this out as my final answer as a coordinate, I would have three, negative 3 square root of 2 over 2. But then this one, two negatives, will give you a positive. And so that one would be positive 3 square root of 2 over 2. So that would be my final coordinate there. I get a negative and a positive. So I've looked at parts A and part B. Next, now let's do part C. Okay, now for part C, here's the R. And R is negative 2, and your theta is... Uh, 2 pi. We want to convert this to rectangular using these formulas, just like we did before in the previous uh, two parts. So we're going to do x is equal to r cosine, that's going to be negative 2 cosine 2 pi over 3, and y is equal to negative 2 sine 2 pi over 3. So that would be the setup by using my r uh, and my theta, using that formula. Next, I'm going to do negative 2 Okay, now I want, I want to find the value for cosine 2 pi over 3. Now let's draw that one out over here. Uh, this 2 pi over 3 would be right here. The reference angle is going to be pi over 3. So uh, my cosine of 2 pi over 3 is going to have the same exact value as cosine of pi over 3, except I have to put a negative sign there. Um, for the value. So in here, the value for cosine of 2 pi over 3, it's going to be negative because you're in the second quadrant, has the same numerical value as pi over 3. So that's cosine of 60 degrees, which is going to be the same thing as negative 1 half. So that's the, that's the x value there in that quadrant. When I simplify this, I get 1. Down here, I'm going to put in, do the same thing, except now 
I'm using the sine of pi over 3. Now again, this is going to have, in the, in the second quadrant, sine is actually positive. So this is going to have the same value as if I would have pi over 3 over here uh, in the first quadrant. So because of that, same value, that means that that's going to be sine of 60, and so that's going to be positive square root of 3 over 2. Again, it's positive because sine should be positive in the second quadrant. When you cancel out the 2's, you get negative square root of 3. So therefore, your final answer written as a coordinate, that's going to be uh, 1 and negative square root of 3 over 2. That would be the equivalent uh, rectangular coordinate. Okay, so we've looked at this whole uh, video involves changing, po converting points over uh, into polar coordinates in the rectangular. So now the next video we'll look at has to do with converting equations over. So we'll look at equations going from polar into rectangular.